Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion on electromagnetic field tensor. Uh, we'll see what are the invariants of the fields. What are these invariants of these fields that we, we listen so much about and how to construct them. But before going to that, we'll like to do some extra, you know, some extra bit of information about our electromagnetic field tensor. Uh, so in the previous video, we have seen that our electromagnetic field tensor, which is our F mu nu, is written in this form, which is d, d mu a nu minus do nu a mu, right? This is our electromagnetic field tensor. Uh, I just do mu a nu, and, and suppose we want to, we see it just change the indices that is we change the mu to new position mu to mu position what we'll see we'll see this is how the left magnetic field tensor looks now if you see carefully we see that f mu nu is nothing but minus of f mu nu And that actually give us an insight about how what kind of tensor this F mu you know, or the electromagnetic field tensor is. It tells us that this tensor is an anti-symmetric tensor. So, in case of anti-symmetric tensor, we since one element has to be the minus of the other, so all in all such cases, what happens is all this these diagonal terms turns out to be zero. Okay, so for example, you can understand it intuitively that suppose you have some term C. So minus of C term will be equal to this here C term only when C is equal to 0. This is what the idea is. Okay. So that's why all the diagonal terms in the in, in, yeah, electromagnetic field tensor is 0. Now, if we do some thorough calculation, you will actually see this. All the terms that comes out will actually look like this. This all these corner terms are the electric field terms, and all these terms are actually magnetic field terms. Okay. Uh, but so remember, for in our in all in while calculating this invariance of the fields, we'll actually require this knowledge. Okay. So we, as you can see, that all these f zero i terms are nothing but the electromagnetic field terms, and and the f i zero terms are just the negative of the this electromagnetic field so i'm oh, sorry of these electric fields similarly all the fij terms are the magnetic field terms and fji is a negative of the magnetic field okay. that's all now what we'll do is we'll try to construct to invariance of the fields. So, but first question comes: What are exactly these invariance of the fields? No, invariance of the fields are those quantities that doesn't this once only go from one inertial frame to another. This one Lorentz frame to another. Uh, suppose this is an inertial frame, and this is another inertial frame. And using Lorentz transformation, we go from one inertial frame to another. And when you do such this thing, the quantity, there's a value of that thing doesn't change. So the, all these quantities are called invariance of the fields. Okay. So these invariants uh, are usually this uh, tensor zero stuffs. Are usually tensor zero are usually zero tensor quantities. So to create invariance of the field, invariant of a field, you have to create zero tensor uh, quantities using tensor using F, uh, electromagnetic field tensors. And how do you do it? Uh, to do such things, we have to actually contract covariant indices with contravariant indices. Okay. So how can you do this? So, so the first obvious choice is F mu nu, F mu nu. So what we are doing is just simply contracting to electromagnetic field tensors us and overall this after the contraction the overall tensor or overall rank of this tensor is zero so this is an a scalar so basically rank zero tensor 
So it will be an invariant of the field. Similarly, we can uh, construct another pseudo tensor. It's a pseudo scalar. Uh, okay, why is it called as, uh, and that's that thing is we can uh, construct another zero rank tensor using Levi Civita, which we have studied in the previous video, right? This epsilon mu nu rho sigma is equal f mu nu f rho sigma. Now, this is called a pseudo scalar. Okay, this pseudo invariant. Why? Because this Levi Civita is a pseudo tensor. Okay, these are all, this, these are some really, yeah, some important information which you will find useful while you will be studying high, high energy physics in more detail. But uh, thing is, this thing is, is called a pseudo scalar. Now I will now we'll try to do, we'll do some calculation using this quantity we'll, by try to like mean. Do some calculation and see if we come up with something useful, more useful. So first we'll do with is f mu nu and f mu nu. We'll try to calculate with this thing. Oh, initially we have seen this f zero i terms are nothing but the electric field terms, right? Right. So what we'll do is we'll break this quantity like using some break this quantity into f zero i to f zero i plus f i j f i j so here i and j are 1 comma 2 comma 3 okay yeah that's great and thing is we have another term which is f i0 to f i0 now when you change the overall term this thing comes out to be 2 f i0 into f i0 since this when you change the indices both of them are yeah both of them are anti-semitic matrix so when you change the so suppose which when you change the i0 to, i0 to 0 y and similarly here i0 to 0 y will get 2 minus signs and 2 minus into minus is equal to plus so you can simply write it in this form so this is the quantity it turns out to be. Now this thing f since f zero i is equal to e, uh, e i, so f i zero okay uh, f zero i is equal to e i. So sorry, f i zero i will be equal to minus e i. Okay, so okay. So what will happen is this thing will turn into two e i e i. Okay, and f i j k f i j uh, is epsilon i j k v k. So you write the this is what f i j is. Uh, why the epsilon term? So, as you can see, this all these terms, uh, this thing over here is wrong because it will have this epsilon, Levi Civita symbol, epsilon i j k, epsilon i j k. So, reason is to see the minus plus minus signs over here. Uh, these symbols are represented by this Levi Civita. To keep check of the symbols, we are actually using this Levi Civita. Okay. Now, f i j is when you do the yeah uh, this things comes out to be epsilon i j k v k to epsilon i j l v l okay now these two uh, in the previous video we have seen that when two epsilon has uh, this levi civita has two equal indices it turns nothing but it turns it it will be it, for the previous video's knowledge this thing will turn into e i e i Plus two factorial, uh, two factorial v k to v k. Hmm? And so minus two into e square minus v square. So the first invariant quantity turns out to be nothing but the 
this quantity. So if we change from, we'll go from one inertial frame to another inertial frame, so E square minus B square is the first term that will remain invariant. Now we'll do it for the second term. Just epsilon mu nu rho sigma to f mu nu f rho sigma. Now this thing is 4 epsilon 0 i j k into f 0 i f j k. Okay. Uh, so this thing starts out to be 4 epsilon i j k to minus e i into epsilon j k l v l. So just putting the stuffs over here and this thing starts out to be 4 same argument 4 f e dot b so that this is a second invariant term so the two invariants of the fields are e square minus b square and e dot b these are the four two invariants of the fields so i hope you found this video useful if yes please don't forget to like share and subscribe and thanks for watching